Happy New Year, everybody! It doesn't feel like it can possibly be 2018 yet. I mean, I know that's a very cliche thing to say if one says at the beginning of the year, but it honestly doesn't feel like it's been that long since Christmas. I mean, I know it's been a week, but I haven't moved from my Christmas brain yet. I'm not ready to go back to work and go back to doing all the usual things. Oh well. I'm filming this a bit later in the afternoon because we were actually out all day with some friends having a New Year's Day party, which is unusual for us. And it was really, really nice actually. So many, many thanks to these amazing friends for um, inviting us around and giving us such a good day. And as proof it was such a good day, have a look at this photo. Now that is a sign of a really great New Year's Day, don't you think? Being the New Year and all, um, sort of thinking a lot more about setting achievable goals, you know, what I want to do for this year and how am I going to make sure that I actually do it because it's one thing to set a goal, I think, and it's quite another to, you know, achieve it. Like, that's why so many New Year's resolutions fail because you make the goal and you make the resolution and then it's very, very hard to follow through and I have so many good goals for this year. So I'm trying to plot out my plan for the year and sort of figure out how I'm going to get all these things done and how I'm going to do so many of these things all at once because I have goals for my writing, I've got goals for music, I've got goals for health and fitness, I've got goals for everything. Um, so I'm going to need to be very organised and figure out a way that's going to work for me to um, achieve all these things. So I don't really have um, these goals all worked out yet but I know that they're all going to be really good and I'm working out the best plans I possibly can for them. Um, and if you have any New Year's goals or New Year's resolutions, I'd love to hear about those because I don't know if the New Year is um, you know, the time, of, time for new beginnings and trying new things and starting something new and I just think it's a perfect time to start working towards some you know, really, really personal goals or start reaching for some dreams or something. I mean, old times are good for that as well, but there's something about the, about the New Year that when it rolls around you feel fresh and you feel new and you feel like it's time to start something. And it's good enthusiasm to springboard off, I guess. Yep. First it was misty, and now it's raining. Look at that. I think that's one storm incoming. I do apologise for the rain noise in the background, as you saw it is storming a little bit out there. But a bit of rain's always nice, all the dams around us have dried up, so it'd be good to have some water in them again. Um, after all the busyness of the weekend, well, we had my brother over on Saturday and Sunday, which was very nice seeing him, and then we had our New Year's Day party yesterday. Um, just had a really quiet day today, which has been really good. I've been working on my book. I've got the major edits done by Friday. I've finally worked out the publishing timeline, so I've got all my deadlines worked out. You know, major edits this, this week, and you know, the last minor edits and proofreading by this other day. You know, ordering proofs, checking proofs, you know, fixing proofs because the first the first proofs are never, you know, perfect, especially when you're formatting everything yourself. Thankfully, I've got a little bit of experience in that, so I know what I'm doing now. So hopefully, hopefully the um, whole experience should be much easier, but. Yes, yeah, so I've got to get a move on and finish all this stuff up now. And apart from that, oh, I wrote a blog post on goal setting because that's what I'm thinking about at the moment. So hopefully that comes out Thursday, in which case I'll be leaving a link to that in the description in case you're interested. Um, I wrote about four ways to set better goals this year. And the four ways are to make your goal smaller, as in break it up into bite-sized chunks, to make it fun, because what is the point of trying to achieve a goal if you don't actually like the process of going through it. It's like if you're trying to exercise more regularly or lose weight, then, but you but you decide that to do that you've got to go running even though you hate running. Like That's not fun. So pick something that makes it fun. Oh, there's a bit of thunder. Um, the third way is to make a plan for it because you are far more likely to achieve goals if you actually make a plan as to how you're going to do this. And the last one is to realize that you don't fail if, you know, you fail. Like if you have, have resolved to go to the gym more often and you don't go to the gym for a couple of days or you don't write for a week or so, just because you haven't followed your plan perfectly doesn't mean you've failed on your goal. It's just, it's just a pause in your progress. You don't fail unless you let yourself fail. So you just pick yourself back up and keep going. So that's, that's the gist of the post. So. If that sounds interesting to you, you can check that out through the link in the description. So 
So I wanted to share something pretty cool that happened today. So as I mentioned yesterday, um, I'm working on getting the major edits for my book finished this week, which, side note, I'm actually that close to being done with. Um, I've got less than 20 pages to go, and it's only Wednesday, so go me! Hitting goals all over the place. Um, but the interesting thing that happened today was I was editing a scene. Um, it was a, a fairly emotional scene where my group of characters were having to split up. And it's the sort of splitting up where, you know, like the breaking of the fellowship, where you're not sure if you're going to see all of them alive again in the future. And as I was editing it, and always remembering, I wrote this scene, and this is like the 11th draft, so I know what's happening by this point. So all of a sudden, I just, I felt really sad for these characters. Like, they're, they're all going through this really emotional uh, moment where they're, you know, having to leave each other, and I actually started to feel really sad with them. I was like, wow, I wrote this. Like, I'm sp at, at, at this point, aren't I supposed to be going, oh yes, I know this is happening. Um, just get on with it, let's, let's, let's hope and get to the interesting bit, but no. So I actually managed to write a scene that was emotional. And it was emotional enough that I felt emotional. So that's, that's kind of a big win for me. Well, never mind about that Friday deadline for my editing, huh? Finished it yesterday. Nailed it! I am super pleased to have got that edit finished finally. I was I meant to have it done before Christmas and did not happen. So to have it done two days ahead of my extended deadline is a fantastic thing. I'm very pleased by that. Which means I really only have one more editing pass left and a bit of extra proofreading, which is amazing and terrifying. I'm actually supposed to have started that today, but it's already gone three o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't started on that. And probably the reason I'm putting that off a bit is because it's so scary. Because once this, is, once this editing pass is done, it means that this book is practically finished. It means that at some point I'm going to have to hold this book out and say, this book is done and it is finished and you can judge it based off you know you can, you can judge it for what it is i can't hide behind the fact that you know it's a work in progress i'm still fixing it this is the way it's going to be and that's really scary actually i've never actually um, got a book this far i mean i've written a lot of books i think at this point i have probably written well over 20 first drafts of stories i've got loads of stories hidden in the drawer waiting for me to come back to them but this is the first one that I have managed to take this far and edit to the completion and get it so far that I can say yes this is a book I can put out into the world and show people and say I wrote this which is amazing like I don't get me wrong I am super excited about this I have been thinking about this literally for six years ever since I first wrote this book um, but at the same time it's it is a bit intimidating because this will be the first thing I put out in the world and what if it's rubbish what if I have written the biggest scrap of uh, the biggest pile of scrap ever and I mean it won't be because nothing is ever that big a pile of scrap but at the same time it's still scary thinking that other people are going to read it and you can't control what they think anymore because it's done so nothing, none of that's going to stop me from you know finishing this book and getting on and doing that last editing pass which I promise I'm going to start tonight so hold me to that guys but yeah working through a little bit of intimidation at the moment but, well, I say at the moment, I'm actually supposed to be taking the dogs for a walk at the moment, and they're walking around my feet going, why have we stopped? And that's because I can't walk and talk at the same time when I've got you two around. So I think I have to leave this here and take them for a walk instead, because they've been very patient. Well, I can definitely understand why Rapunzel uses a frying pan as a weapon now. I don't seems really hurt. Whew, made it to the end of another week. And a uh, really good week too. It's been really nice getting back into some regular things. I've started working on new covers again. That's always a great feeling. I didn't realise how much I missed making music until I got back to it. So looking forward to making new covers in, the, in this new year. I've got plenty planned, but I'm always looking for new suggestions. So if anybody has any suggestions, um, I'm always willing to hear them. So you can always leave me a comment somewhere and I will definitely check the song out and you know, see if it's doable. Um, and an update on the editing from yesterday. Yes, I did get started. <laughs> um, I got an entire chapter done, so I've re been through the first chapter. Unfortunately, I will need to go through it again because first chapters are hard. There are two, there are two parts of writing that I really struggle with. One is finding a title. I still haven't got one of those yet. I'm still working on it. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit closer, but I still haven't found anything quite right yet. 
and the other is first pages. First paragraphs specifically and first chapters in general, they're just... Once I get into the story, I'm good. But the whole setting up and introducing and hooking people in in the first page is just... Ugh, I just... I can't do it. I struggle so much with that. So that first page is probably going to be written, re rewritten about another 50 times as I do this last draft, but... Oh well, what can you do? <laughs> It'll get done eventually. I'm sort of at the stage where I'm like, oh, you know, I could, I could do another draft on this after I've done this one. You know, make it just even that little bit tighter again. But I know if I did that, I would, I would get halfway through that draft and go, but one more draft! I think, well, it's, this is the 12th draft, I think it's time I said stop. It's pretty, it's gonna, it's, if it's not good after 12 drafts, it's probably not gonna get much better in 13, so... <laughs> uh, it's time I said stop. So anyway, that's, um, that's been just a little glimpse of my week. I hope you've had a great week. If you feel like it, maybe share something that you did this week because I always love hearing what you guys have done. Um, I know I'm a little bit behind on comments and things at the moment because I did take a week and a half to two weeks off over Christmas just trying to do the bare essentials to, you know, stay on top of things um, with varying degrees of success. So I'm still catching up on things. So I do apologise. Thank you, everybody, who has left me lovely comments and things recently. Um, I am getting to them. So I always appreciate it when I hear, it from, hear from you guys. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for joining me for another week. And I hope you'll come back and see you next week's one as well. Always, always got new things planned. Always got great things planned. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me and I hope I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>